Yo, DJ with Stream Fit here. Today we're talking about the squat. If you're anything like me, powerlifting background, football background, athletic background, a lot of times we were taught to squat really wide with our toes out because it allowed us to get the depth we needed on a squat, feel like we're getting all the way down. It allowed us to go not go down as far as we normally would, but in reality it's teaching us improper mechanics. It's gonna cause us to get really tight in the outer hips and lose internal rotation at the hips. And also, the way you squat is the way you end up walking, stepping, jumping, landing. If you land and run and do stuff like this, like a duck, your knees are gonna hurt, you're gonna put yourself in a really bad position. You don't, you're not gonna be very athletic and functional, and you should only look like a duck on Halloween. So what I'm gonna come down here, basic 10 minute squat mobilization in a deep squat position. It can be five minutes, it can be 10 minutes. What I like to do is just set the clock for about 10 minutes and move around, explore the space, add motion in the positions I'm trying to change. And not just stay there, add motion in all three planes of motion. Side to side, add some rotational components to it. I like to have a step behind me. You can use a wall behind you if you're in a living room watching TV, which I recommend. A great time to do this for the mental distraction. You can put your hands on the back of a couch or ottoman. This allows you to get a little more of a push forward, get some counterbalance, and then load your body a little bit so you can stay down in this position a little bit longer. So start with the normal squat stance, toes ahead, hands behind. They're gonna step out, and all I'm gonna do is just initially work on getting that full depth. This is a global flexion movement. I'm trying to get flexion at the ankle, the knee, and the hip. If you feel like you have some restrictions in any which area, at the hip and ankle in particular, what you wanna start doing is adding some internal and external rotation. I can start on one leg at a time. External to internal. The focus is moving as much as I can at the hip, not as much at the knee, in and out, trying to really screw my feet into the floor. So again, as you see, as I start doing this, I'm automatically improving my toe ahead positioning. And then I shift to the other side, inside, outside, play around with it, really go in and out. No right or wrong way as long as we're driving movement at the hip and the ankle and not as much at the knee when we're talking side to side or rotation. Coming right back, same concept, screw those feet in the floor. I even like to go like this a little bit and cheat it by getting the toes a little bit ahead. So when I screw the feet into the floor, even if they come forward, but they end up finishing toe ahead, and then I'm actually gonna do some internal and external rotation from that position. Driving the movement through the hip, minimizing motion at the spine. Oh, this really opens it up nice. Explore the space, then I can start bringing my feet a little bit closer. The wide position is gonna really focus on opening up your adductors. The close foot position bridges the gap between a two leg and a one leg squat. It gets deeper flexion of the hip, knee, and ankle. And then keeping the feet flat on the floor, just focus on driving the knees out. Don't lose that flat position. Keep the weight in the center of the feet. And then I can start doing a little bit of this. Little side to side floss. Play around with that positioning. Lock it down. And then I can start moving to some one leg options. Initially, start to kind of in this, uh, this post position and then kind of get that hip into the back of the socket. Really dig down deep and then add some internal external rotation to it. A lot of times that bottom of the squat position we talk about not having the ankle mobility to get down there, it really oftentimes comes down to lacking the flexion of the hip. You bump into this wall at the hip, a flexion wall at the hip, and you can't get there. This really helps open that up. Flossing side to side, again switching sides, and again, over the course of 10 minutes, you're just moving between these different positions. It's kind of a medium stance. As you start to get better into it, you can even move away to just reaching without assistance. Or if you get fatigued, you can go back to assistance without assistance. Shoulders in the sockets, chest out, knees out, cueing that position. I can assist with one hand. Again, kind of the options are endless. I always also like to have a dumbbell around two. So if you don't have access to something like a TRX, which you can also do this with, hold on to a TRX handles or hold on to a, a pole or a, uh, anything that allows you to hold your hands onto and self-assist and get counterbalance. You just basically have this five to 10 pound weight that allows you to sit a little bit taller. And just again, you can move a little bit in the position, keep messing around with your feet. Great option to keep messing with. And again, the biggest thing, if you get fatigued, instead of just resting and doing nothing, go from a flexion pattern to an extension pattern just put your upper back on the step and do a little hip thrust hold. Squeeze the glutes, keep the abs tight. It's gonna kind of open up the hips in extension, kind of reverse that flexion pattern. Great pairing that allows you to get more work done in 10 minutes and get some active recovery going. Of course, I can do that on one leg as well, but keep mixing between those options. Open your hips wide up 
and you have to understand a minute or two will help but you need extended time under tension in this position so it becomes what it was really meant to be our primitive rest and stability pattern just be able to get down in a deep squat feel good about it not feel stressed feel relaxed do this daily a couple times a day five to ten minutes at each a time will blow your mind with how quickly you develop mobility so you're squatting like a champion become a free member at streamfit.com today start working on the deep squat and you will be unstoppable. See you next time.